Apple's iPhone 14 Pro is set to be the phone that, phone that could shake up the iPhone range by potentially bringing in a notably different design from the iPhone 13 Pro. So far, the rumors have hinted at everything from the depth of the notch to the return of Touch ID. This is probably well overdue as good as the iPhone 13 Pro is, it's arguably not a definitive upgrade over its predecessor and overall the iPhone hasn't taken a huge leap forward since the iPhone 11 Pro. Don't expect a big change in the number of cameras the iPhone 14 Pro will bring as the Pro phones are tipped to stick with the standard combo of a main ultra wide and telephoto array. Given how Apple phones regularly feature in our best camera phones lineup, that's no bad thing. But one leak has the iPhone 14 Pro tipped to get a 48 megapixel main camera which could finally make a change from the 12 megapixel cameras Apple has used for years. While Cupertino's computational photography is some of the best around, having more megapixels to play with would likely give the iPhone 14 Pro more scope when it comes to processing light and details. We could be at a time where megapixels matter once more to Apple. But a regular Apple tipster has the standard iPhone 14 models tipped to stick with 12 megapixel cameras, with only the Pro models expected to get a 48 megapixel main camera. No changes have been touted for the ultra wide camera, but we'd surprised if some effort wasn't made to improve the field of view and help remove some edge distortion. And there's a scope for the telephoto camera to get a zoom boost as an Apple patent points toward the company working on a periscope style zoom camera. If such a feature was going to debut in an iPhone, it could be for the iPhone 14 Pro. But to muddy the waters, Apple Oracle Ming Chi Kuo claims the periscope camera won't appear until the iPhone 15 in 2023. The lack of a telephoto upgrade for this year could make the iPhone 14 Pro a real lit down. Analyst Ming Chi Kuo claims all models of the iPhone 14 will get an upgraded front facing camera. It looks like this will involve a new wider aperture, a more complex six part lens and the addition of autofocus for the first time. Together, this should allow the iPhone's selfie, selfie snapper to take brighter photos that are easier to shoot thanks to the autofocus and that will be less prone to distortion. For more, see our iPhone 14 cameras roundup for all the biggest remote upgrades. The iPhone 14 Pro could be the phone many of us have been waiting for, with the Pro models tipped to offer a real evolution of the iPhone's web seen, we have seen over the past few years. Sure, it's not going to be unrecognizable from the iPhone 13 and iPhone 12, but we suspect this upcoming generations of iPhone will introduce a design language and capabilities that will set the stage for other iPhones to follow. No notch and always on display, a bigger megapixel account for the main camera and potentially a USB-C port could really shake up the iPhone as we know it and that would in turn have the effect of setting the standard for the other smartphones to follow if they wish to win a spot on our best phones list. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.